How to pierce your own nose. Professional nose piercings can be expensive. You can perform the process at home, but you'll need to do your research beforehand. You'll need to be very conscious of cleanliness, and you'll need to be prepared for a bit of pain. Remember that while it is possible to safely pierce your nose, it will almost always be safer, cleaner, and more reliable to go through a professional. Planning to pierce. Envision your piercing. Look at various styles of nose piercing, and decide what you want. For your first home piercing, consider a simple stud or a nose ring. Think about how you're going to look with this piercing, and make sure that you know exactly what you want. Consider getting your nose pierced professionally. A professional job is usually a much safer, cleaner, and less painful experience. If you pierce your nose at home, you risk bleeding, infection, or a botched job. One, on the other hand, it can be fulfilling to do the piercing yourself. Buy the jewelry. You can find piercing studs, rings, and bars in jewelry stores, tattoo parlors, and novelty shops. Try searching online if you know exactly what you want. Make sure that you're buying sterile, unused jewelry, and consider starting with something small. Make sure you have the right size, length, and thickness. Do not use a ring, an earring, or anything that has been used before. Be aware that some people have allergies to certain metals. Nickel allergies are the most common metal allergy, and may cause a painful rash. Gold, cobalt, and chromate are other common sources of metal allergy. Too. If your skin looks cracked or blistered after the piercing, you should remove the piercing and see a doctor as soon as possible. Consider using titanium jewelry, or stainless steel, anything that will not easily corrode. Look for metals that are free of nickel, 14-24 karat yellow gold, sterling silver, copper, or platinum. Polycarbonate plastic is usually safe to use. 3. Wait until your skin is clear. If you try to pierce over or near an infected skin blemish, the piercing itself will face a higher risk of infection. Thus, if you have any acne or blackheads, wait a few days or weeks until the rash recedes. Wash your face regularly, and consider using a pore cleansing or medicated facial scrub. Prepare the needle. Be sure to use a fresh needle, if it isn't prepackaged, then you can't be sure that it hasn't been used before. Use a hollow needle, these are more effective. Use a thin gauge, between 20 g mm and 18 g mm, and make sure that the hole is not smaller in diameter than your jewelry. A safety pin, a pushpin, an earring, or a sewing needle will make the piercing more prone to infection, it can be hard to properly sterilize these objects. The point may also be too dull to pierce, which can tear the tissue and put too much stress on the piercing. Don't set the needle down anywhere, lest it gets contaminated. If you must set it down, use a clean tissue or a sterilized tray. Sterilize everything. This includes the needle, the jewelry, and any other tools that you will handle during the piercing process. Soak the needle in rubbing alcohol, and then boil it in hot water. Wash your hands with antibacterial soap, and then put on latex gloves. Do not touch anything that has not been sterilized. Change the gloves every time you touch your nose. Put on a fresh pair of gloves just before you do the actual piercing. Mark your nose. Use a sharpie to make a small dot on your skin where you want the stud to go. Look in the mirror and make sure that it's right. If the mark is too low or too high, wash it away and adjust it. Draw and redraw the mark until you are completely satisfied. 